Okay, so I've always wondered if my engine was interference or non-interference because the internet says it's 50-50. I honestly can't get a plain answer and it kind of bugs me because I went with the it's non-interference for a long time. I put an extra 100,000k on my timing belt with that s assumption of my studying. Um, so right now, Brian is going to show us how to check. Yeah, if it trip. is not oh. interference. It's not. It's not? How can you tell? Here's your intake valves. What so is it happening? has just pushed your intake valves down. You have an interference. How do you know? I can't tell. Okay. What's happening? Because if it was interference, this would have stopped. Because these valves would have hit your piston. They didn't. It kept going. What valve? These, these things? Yeah. A lobe? Yep. Yeah, the they lobe push, would they have push hit... down on the valves though. Okay. That's these little bucket things. The remember? buckets? Yeah. yeah. So the lobe push down on the buckets. And the buckets push down on the valves. On the... In an interference. But I thought you said the lobes are the valves. No. No, the lobes operate the valves. Yes. What do the valves look like again? Remember, those are the ones that we set. Oh, yeah. And so what would happen if it was non-interference? they would be hitting and how would, could you tell if they were hitting because i wouldn't be able to keep turning i have done almost a full rotation on this camshaft so those valves will push down and come back up so it is a non-interference engine non-interference and there you have it the 1999 toyota solera 1mz fe engine is non-interference proof but don't sue me yours might be different Yay!